हेलो वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू माई क्लास इट इज़ द थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ द ग्रामर एंड इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ सेंटेंसेस यू कैन सी देयर इज ए टॉपिक दैट इज इम्पेरेटिव सेंटेंसेस अर्लियर यू हैव रीड अबाउट टाइप्स ऑफ सेंटेंसेस देयर आई हैव स्टार्टेड द टाइप्स ऑफ सेंटेंसेस सब्जेक्ट एंड प्रेडिकेट पार्ट एंड हेयर इट इज़ द इम्पेरेटिव सेंटेंस वट इज गिवेन इन द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द इम्पेरेटिव सेंटेंस लेटस सी इम्पेरेटिव सेंटेंसेस सो लेटस सी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ इम्पेरेटिव सेंटेंसेस सेंटेंसेस दैट एक्सप्रेस ए कमेंट रिक्वेस्ट एडवाइस ऑर्डर और सजेशन आर कॉल्ड इम्पेरेटिव सेंटेंसेस सो वट इज देयर इन ए इम्पेरेटिव सेंटेंस एंड इम्पेरेटिव सेंटेंस may be command an imperative sentence may be request or it is may be advice or order sometimes it is a suggestion also so command request advice order and suggestion these are the parts of imperative sentences now look at the examples given below here example number 1 what is given here please tell me what happened please tell me here the word use of the word please when we use the word please that means it is a request type of sentence and it is a part of imperative sentence and next example do you do your homework properly do your homework properly so here the sentence starts with the do so here subject here uh, you can tell in the imperative sentence when you start you cannot find the subject basically in the imperative sentence the subject is you and it is the mode it is which mode order so here you got two part like request and order imperative sentences some key features here given let us see number 1 to express a command to express a command so like come here bring the box here come here bring the box here so this type of sentences are in the category of command next next category to make a request like for the request which word we are using like please like here which sentence is given let us check like please help me clean the cupboard please help me clean the cupboard it is which type of sentence request sentence so here how do you know that is a request sentence by the use of the word please and at the end there is a full stop is also there to give some advice to give some next point is to give some advice like never lose your patience never lose your patience sometimes people are or elderly people sometimes uh teachers and parents are also giving some advice like this never lose your patience this type of sentence is advice so here three categories we are getting like command its sentence is there come here and bring the box here and request sentence like please help me clean the cupboard and third one to give some advice here it is given never lose your patience answer the following question now exercise c answer the following questions follow instruction given in the bracket one has been done for you so like one number may i come in yes you may come in hmm one is the question and other is the answer how do i complete this drawing give suggestion so sometimes when you are giving suggestion so how do you give the suggestion like you should complete you should complete the drawing by watching the completed one you should complete the drawing by seeing the first one in this way suggestion is given for three number doctor how many antibiotic tablets should i take a daily so this is the question asked to the doctor and doctor is given advice that you should take 
टू एंटीबायोटिक टैबलेट्स यू शुड टेक टू एंटीबायोटिक टैबलेट डेली दिस इज द आंसर फोर नंबर वेन शुड आई बिगिन माई होमवर्क गिव ए कमेंट वेन शुड आई बिगिन माई होमवर्क गिव ए कमेंट बिगिन योर होमवर्क नाउ ओनली बिगिन योर होमवर्क नाउ ओनली दिस इज द कमेंट गिवेन एंड वट इज द नेक्स्ट फाइव नंबर वट शुड वट शुड आई डू ड्यूरिंग माई वैकेशन गिव सजेशन यू शुड यूज योर फ्री टाइम फॉर क्रिएटिंग न्यू थिंग्स You should use your free time in the vacation for making new things. In this way, suggestions given. In the interrogative, let's move towards the interrogative sentences. In the interrogative sentence, uh, generally we know interrogative means questions. Sometimes we are asking, uh, not sometimes we are asking W H questions. Sometimes we are asking yes no questions. Let us see. What are you doing? So here question mark is given. This question mark by watching this question mark, you can say that it is a question sentence. So what is the definition given? A sentence that asks a question by a sentence when you are getting a question, it is called interrogative sentence. Like what are you doing? Here question is asked. When question is asked, that means it is a question sentence. when declarative sentences are converted into interrogative sentences certain changes take place like i can go this is the declarative pattern i can go now if you move this pattern into interrogative one then second word is coming to the first place like i can go like this it is moving can i go can i go so in this way mode is also changing hmm when you are changing the place the mode of talking is also changing like i can go this is your ability but when you are questioning then you are quite uncertain about your ability can i go the word order is changed in the interrogative sentence so what is change word order word order is changed in the imperative uh, in the interrogative sentence and uh, the auxiliary verb change its position and comes before the subject forming can i go so here uh, which type of verb is can can is you can see auxiliary verb and it is coming just before the subject forming the question pattern now see this one he eats a banana every day declarative sentence now sometimes uh, auxiliary verbs are not there in every sentence here sometimes main verbs are there like eats then you have to see the main verb in which mood the main verb is main verb is carrying s therefore you have to use one do type verb hmm and you have to add s because here with the main verb s is given so your question is like this does he eat a banana every day does he eat a banana every day here s is gone from here to there therefore when you are writing it there should be no s with it an interrogative sentence can be a wh question and begin with the words like when why who and how <clears throat> an interrogative sentence can be a question which can be answered with yes or no so by these two patterns i come to know and uh, we are knowing that interrogative sentences are two type one is wh type other is yes no type yes no type answer is always yes no and wh type maybe minimum its sentence pattern should be one line half of the line so that until and unless you are fulfilling the sense or proper meaning of your answer you cannot stop now you can see the bottom part of this page page number 7 what is given here you can see interrogative sentences and two tabular form is given like uh, yes no here yes no question here wh question examples given like uh, with uh, which words we are starting yes no question like 
are you tired with r is and do so here b type verb or do type verb have type verb also you can use <coughs> like are you tired then its answer will be yes or no is your is your flight cancelled then answer will be yes or no and third one do you want tea then answer will be yes or no for three questions answer will be yes or no but here who in this pattern you can see wh question who came to pq pq up then there would if you are telling yes or no then it would it would be very senseless answer who came to pq up then you have to give proper sentence like my father came to pick me up in this way uh, when are you leaving today then you are telling yes or no then it is also senseless make full make sense sense full sentence like i am leaving at 4 pm today in this way you are fulfilling the sentence sense how do you go to office like uh, answer is i go to office by bus or by car let's move to the next page here the next page is there here d number exercise you can see make question for the following answers given below my birthday is in june then which question you will ask my birthday is in june then in this way you will ask that when is uh, when is my birthday hmm. uh, you can ask like this like when is uh, when is your birthday when is your birthday hmm when is your birthday this would be the proper question for this answer then you are telling my birthday is in june number 2 i work in patna so what would be its question like you know very much that uh, where do you work where do you work question mark in the three number question you can see yes given then normally wh question is not coming for this category yes i completed my work then this type of questions should be asked with do hmm or did did you complete your work then question is asked with did you complete your work question mark answer is yes i completed my work my brother is better now how will the uh, question will be that question pattern will be like how is your brother now how is your brother now so question is asked with how this is my new pencil box then you can flip the position and make question of it like is this your is this your new pencil books new pencil box is this your my change into your is this your new pencil box question mark six number yes i do have a pen do you have a pen question do you have a pen next exclamatory sentences so what is the exclamatory sentences this type of sentences generally give the exclamations or feelings sentences that express strong feelings or emotions are called exclamatory sentences so what is there in the exclamatory sentences strong feelings or emotions and what is the special feature of these sentences exclamation mark exclamation mark should be there what is there emotion and strong feelings number uh, a number example is given what a beautiful dress it is what a beautiful dress it is now uh, here if you change the uh, position of this sentence 
or change the word position then it will change into assertive sentence or declarative sentence like it is a beautiful dress but you are making it exclamatory then its pattern will be what a beautiful dress it is an exclamation mark is given how melodiously she sings she sings melodiously it will be the assertive sentence now some key features are given have a look in this key features number 1 an assertive sentence makes a statement assertive sentence makes a statement number 2 it ends with a full stop so what is there in an assertive sentence it ends with a full stop assertive or declarative sentence can be positive or negative as i have already told there are two patterns of the assertive sentence positive and negative next an imperative sentence ends with full stop imperative sentence that sentences uh, where command advice request all these are given sentences that express command request advice order and suggestion are called imperative sentence an imperative sentence ends with also full stop here is also full stop assertive sentence and imperative sentence both are ending with full stop now next point it tells us to do something through request command order advice and suggestion so some <coughs> hmm something is working behind your activity like this request command order advice and suggestion an exclamatory sentence ends with exclamation mark that you know and it usually begins with what and how generally these two words are used what or how it expresses feelings now you can see this type of sentences yuvraj is a great fielder yuvraj is a great fielder exclamatory sentence using how and what like what a great fielder yuvraj is this is the answer exclamation mark sunidhi sings very well hmm sunidhi sings very well how well sunidhi sings this is the answer you are a great dancer what a great dancer you are exclamation mark after that sarukh is a popular actor what a popular actor sarukh is exclamation mark you are wearing a gorgeous sari what a gorgeous sari you are wearing or what a sari you are wearing exclamation mark so in this video i have uh, taken this part only in my next video i will come with some part more of the sentences till then goodbye to all of you